Mike live now. All right, guys, welcome to the grand finals of season two Chicago Overwatch League. Um, so it can all come down to this all month. Yeah. So these we've got our uh, this is Sapphire and Team Onyx. Uh, so we got a couple of player highlights. We'll we'll run through here, bring you up to speed if you haven't been watching all season. So uh, first up, I guess we can talk about uh, Team Sapphire. We got a couple of standout players on here that have been you know through and through. Uh, we see a really really uh, heavy pre presence from Blitzbolt, who is one of our hero highlights. Uh, running DPS yeah, for the most, for the part. most part. Um, so we got him and then we also got Will who plays a pretty demanding Zarya which we've seen in the past two weeks of play um, definitely standout play from him uh, we've got Ninja uh, running uh, I want to say did some Genji yeah. uh, and, he's and definitely a part runs. of our DPS guys mm -hmm. it's uh, Ninja and Blitzball typically taken out kind of whoever they need to in whatever way shape form that looks like they're pretty flexible dps players mm -hmm. for sure and we got some healing coming in there from uh link uh who's uh, been pretty consistent as well i think we're playing some anna um as well as uh, zen if i remember a lot of lucio yeah a lot, of, a lucio lot too, of lucio yeah. out of link yeah. that's definitely what he's been practicing and the lucio buff's been pretty helpful for him and in order for him to not only be able to just be the healer, but also be able to do a little bit extra damage out of the Lucio, which is cool. Yeah. We got Free Shaw's in there, phenomenal Reinhardt. Um, I recall a lot, actually, him and Yubes seem to always end up toe-to-toe. -to -toe yeah. Some of our best Reinhardts we've got in our game Some here. Some on ride action, yeah. And then we've also got Bowser Bash, who's being played under the tag of Trin. And, uh, you know, again, consistent player. <clears throat> more in that healer role that we see, but sometimes off tank as well. We do see a lot of flexibility with our off tanks. Um, Free Straw is sometimes opting for a healer, if that makes sense. Yeah. Trin opting for, you know, heals or DPS. Or, I'm sorry, again, a very tank. balanced team with, uh, I, would, I would say that they're on the side of DPS as being their strong asset, I think. Yes. Uh, definitely a high damage dealing team. I think that brings us now to Team Onyx, who, if you can't look at Team Onyx without looking at Zave, who's their phenomenal Pharah player that demands respect and demands to be dealt with by each and every team that he runs up against in this yeah. league. In his, we have a, uh, one of the consistent ways of play that we see him that we continue to praise him for is his target prioritization. So he's in there looking immediately for the healers. He takes them out. Uh, I mean, it's almost like a reading from a book every time you see him play. He zones right in on the healers and then goes after the rest of the team because he knows, like any good team is formed, you know, they're only as good as their strongest healers in the back line, and he can find a way to get in there and take them out. It's so, a really good job of preventing the alts before they even happen or baiting them out and then punishing them afterwards. So we've seen a couple times he baits out or forces out a zen alt, for the Zen to live, he's got an ult, waits for it to drop, then pops his ult right afterwards. So really just heads up, smart play, and it's consistent. It's not, it doesn't just happen once or twice. He's always playing like that. Mm -hmm. We've got kind of a newer player on the lead, on the team. Dorgosaurus has been in and out a little bit. He was here for the first week, though, and gelled well with this team. I will say, if we look at the differences between these teams, Team Onyx is a team that practices a lot together. Those yes. Tuesdays, they're grouped up together practicing and playing and learning from each other, which the other teams in this league have not done as much of. Mm -hmm. We've got Irritable and Kwai Senpai, two partners coming in, healer and, deep, and uh, tank, off tank, that have been consistent players. They've played together last season. They're back here again this time and are joined by Shrades and Carry, who are new additions to this season. But again, phenomenal all-around players. Carry on DPS, always picking up kills. Him and Zave are terrifying when they've got someone in their sights. And then Shrades usually picking up a Roadhog or some other off tank here. Yeah. So I think we've got two really good balanced teams that are going to be up against each other that should put up a pretty good fight here. So I think we've got just about everybody ready to go as we check our lineups here. But yeah. I think we're going to see a lot of good plays, a lot of all-star players on here, a few people that have hit our uh, hero highlights of the week, uh, and runners-up for that matter. So we've got a lot of proven players here. Absolutely. And we are going to get our teams back together right now. And, um, and we'll should be getting started in just a couple minutes. Start right up.